Hey guys, welcome back to the Qualcomm Podcast. I'm Jeff. I'm Kristen. Okay, today we're going to look at another one of the topics that's discussed at a Qualcomm near you. Uh, what's our topic today, Kristen? We are talking about apps. So apps, applications on your phone. Uh, number one, what do what uh, do you have a favorite app, and why do you like that app? Do I have a favorite app? Mm. I have like my most used apps. Mm. I would say my favorite one is probably my Google Calendar okay. because I'm very busy and I can't keep track of everything. I schedule everything like oh, wow. appointments with friends, doctor's appointments, my work, my workouts. Because if I don't have a schedule to stick to, I will just sit on my couch and do nothing and forget I have plans. Um, so that's my favorite. What about I you? I guess my favorite app uh, it would have to be Facebook. You boomer. Um, so uh, I use yeah I use just Facebook because I like scrolling like uh, finding out reading my pa- my friends' stories, uh, finding out what they're doing, or even just seeing like little memes on there. But as well as like the Facebook Messenger, that's actually a, how I communicate with my family back home a lot. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. So it's a uh, yeah like I I'll send them messages and then when I need to even chat with them, I'll just use the voice call on uh, Facebook. To yeah. chat with them instead of actually dialing a number. I use WhatsApp, but also owned by Zuckerberg. So, you know, <laughs> it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. And then, yeah, also, yeah, it's Zuckerberg. So also Instagram, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, Instagram. I love Instagram stories for keeping up to date with mm-hmm. what people are mm-hmm. doing. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Uh, can you read number two? What factors of an app make you want to delete it? Ooh. So sometimes I, pl- like... Usually I have one game app installed mm-hmm. in my on my phone and I play it. Uh, the factor is like it's like it all the game app always is like free to play, but then there's always these micro transactions. Mm. So a lot if if I get to a point where I can't progress in the game unless I do these micro transactions or we have to wait like a day for a clock to expire, usually the, I just get frustrated and rage delete it. <laughs> Ooh, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Yeah. For me, unnecessary pop-ups. Mm. I don't need to know every single like update on mm-hmm. every single interaction. Like I know shopping apps mm-hmm. are notorious. I'm like, mm-hmm. if you've got a new collection, I don't need to know about it. Mm-hmm. Unhealthy spending habits enough. Mm-hmm. But uh, yeah, pop-ups, um, unnecessary sounds. Okay. Um, and I, I also make a point. I never install games on my phone because oh. I don't want to. I'm already sucked in by TikTok. I don't need more distractions. <laughs> oh, no, so. again, that's your vice, TikTok. Oh my god, it's awful. I spend hours. I had to set up like parental controls for myself to oh. like turn it off because I will just waste well, wait, my wait, day. Wait, but then we're let's go to number three. What social media app do you use the most? Well. Sometimes I TikTok, but then I uninstall it. Mm -hmm. Uh, But I recently installed it, and I'm just like back on that track for addiction. Mm -hmm. I would say probably Instagram I use the most, or Mm -hmm. Kakao Talk, or actually Microsoft Teams because of my work. We Mm. talk on Teams. Oh, okay. So you use some apps, yeah, for your work. Social media, uh, going back, yeah, Facebook is Mm. a big. Like I have used. Well, even that, I have. I have. YouTube premium account so allows me to play my YouTube in the background of me scrolling another app. So I'm always you listening to something on YouTube. Oh, I spend so the, much time on YouTube. <laughs> at oh. the, well, I'm you like so I'm you I'm doubling doubling up on using two apps at once. So I pay, I pay my ten dollars a month to have YouTube play in the background of me mm. go on Facebook. Mm. Oh my god, it's oh my such god. a guilty, guilty pleasure. Reddit but yeah, too. That Oprah mean. I think I have a problem with screens. Yeah, is what I'm encountering. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I, 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 yeah. I just I want to look at yeah Facebook, an app, like probably every 15 minutes. Yeah. Like, oh, that actually leads into the next question. Have you ever been addicted to a social media app? If you haven't any experience with someone addicted to social media, me guilty addicted to social media. I get like withdrawal symptoms. Mm-hmm. It's so bad. Yeah. Well, yeah. If, if I'm with people and there's a quiet moment, I'm just always flipping up my phone and just try and unlocking it just to see, oh, is someone else doing something interesting at that moment? Yeah. Or you're watching a movie or TV mm-hmm. show and then you take out your phone because you're not like simulated mm-hmm. enough. Oh, it's yeah. such a problem. I think that's a problem, like a problem with 
today's society too is like you're in, you're watching a TV show, but then simultaneously, then you turn it, you're opening up your phone to see what's on YouTube. So you're watching two things simultaneously. Yeah. There's even those TikTok videos now yeah. where they will split the screen. Okay. So the top half will usually be like some sort of them reading some like Reddit r slash am i the asshole type of question mm -hmm. where it's they're having like a podcast discussion and mm -hmm. then on the bottom of the screen they will have like someone playing with slime or someone playing like a video game yeah. or <laughs> like um all, like just the overstimulation and distraction mm -hmm. making sure that just every single receptor like you have every single just so much going on on the screen. And then you're doing that while watching a TV show, while listening to music. Like, yeah, I don't know what silence is like anymore. <laughs> I just re I just realized like uh, my phone, uh, Samsung, that there's like a well, th uh, there's a screen record. So you can record the program mm -hmm. that you're watching. But actually, there's even a, a, a function in it where you can actually review what you're watching. So they, it takes a pit. It's recording you watching it and then it, the mic turns on. So you could actually do a review of what you're watching and record it. It's so bad. Even right now, I'm thinking, like, do I have any messages I need to respond to? I need to check my phone across the room. <laughs> uh, thank, so, uh, I, I got I'll mine. Check in, between, between. I got, I thankfully, I got pockets, so I know that I'm getting I have little vibrations in my, on my leg every time someone's messaging me or if I miss something that's happening mm. during this podcast. Uh, great. Uh, da, 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 uh, number five um, Have you ever paid to use an app or play a mobile game? Hmm. I do not think I have. Mm. Pretty sure across the board, yeah. I've never paid money for a mobile app. So, Unless it's like paying for like film editing software, mm -hmm. like on your phone, but never like a mobile game. Do, do you have like any uh, like uh, subscri streaming subscriptions like Netflix or anything? Oh, is this... I don't watch things legally. Don't yeah. tell people, okay. but I, I don't. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Uh, I'm using my friend's network, uh, Netflix password. So mm. they're paying for a subscription that I'm using. I have a subscription to YouTube, uh, pr premium. So yeah, so I don't, so when I watch YouTube, I don't have commercials and I can listen to it in the background of other apps. Oh, wait, no, I do pay for a VPN. Okay. That's the only thing I paid yeah. for, but ne Netflix is a yeah. good one. Uh, then mobile games. Unfortunately, I, I used to actually play, uh, pay for some mobile games back in the past. It was one of those play to, uh, free to play ones. But then I got involved in like kind of a guild and like, and I wanted to not be booted from uh, the group. Mm. So I ended up like having like every month, like paying money. I think I waste on one game probably about like $800. Oh. And then basically, and then I just, I got tired of it and I just deleted it. But it takes I'm, a lot I, of willpower. Good for but, you. And I didn't even know, but like half the stuff I paid for, I didn't even use. So mm. like one, it, that was a horrible thing. So I really hate paying for mobile games now. Don't do it. It's not worth it. Yeah. Unless you want to like support an indie creator who's charging like yeah. three ninety nine for a game and then that's it. I yeah. do, but a lot of those like big game studios, yeah. pay to play, loot boxes, yeah. it's not worth it. Well, yeah, the free to play ones are actually the big money hole. Like, mm -hmm. but if you can actually pay, if pay money for a good game, I would, I recommend it, but don't fall for these free to play microtransaction games. Don't do it. Let's move on to the next question. Uh, which app seemed like magic the first time you used it? Ooh, so Matt, it's, uh, I guess, uh, Tinder. <laughs> you just I mean, swipe and then magically a woman appears. Well, yeah, like I, I saw, like on, I saw all these pictures, but then, you know, like I, I swiped right and then suddenly I got a notification and I was talking to someone. And I, I, but in reality, though, though, that, uh, that didn't really work out. Those people mm. were very boring, but it was just, yeah, when the first time I used it, it seemed like magic because it, like, I was just, you know, have it, just wasted my time and then suddenly someone appeared that wanted to have a conversation with me. So that kind of, I guess, would be magical in a sense. Yeah, human interaction and human connection is magic. Mm -hmm. uh, how about yourself? Uh, I will be very honest. Uh, there's an app called Face App, which is like a face body editing mm -hmm. um, 
software for your phone that a lot of people use, myself included, mm -hmm. um, it can completely change the features of your face with like these filters, mm -hmm. TikTok filters too, but mm -hmm. face app in general, mm -hmm. like, like deep every, faker stuff. Uh, just like everything you see on Instagram is fake. They have this thing mm -hmm. called like the Instagram face where mm -hmm. everyone kind of looks the same. Mm -hmm. And it's because of these filters that like make your skin smooth, make your features mm -hmm. slightly bigger, like mm -hmm. make your hair thicker. That's mm -hmm. something I actually do a lot as I like up the volume on like my hair <laughs> thickness because oh. like I'm, I'm self-conscious oh. about how fine my hair is. Okay. But these, it's crazy. It's like dangerously crazy. I'm surprised mm -hmm. it hasn't been like, man, these filters are going to do who knows uh, to the youngest generation who yeah. grows up seeing it's like it's given me body mm. dysmorphia. Yeah. I, well, I don't know what your, uh, your Instagram algorithm is, but follow me on Instagram. If you can stalk me, yeah. am I allowed but, to plug myself? Go ahead. Go ahead. Well, it's, uh, okay. So my Instagram <laughs> is comedy, Jeffy comedy, G E O F F Y. And mine is at Kristen Pimley, K-R-I-S-T-E-N-P-I-M-L-E-Y. Find me. I will probably not respond to you, but yeah. you know, um, you can see the face app in action. <laughs> well, in my in my uh, in my algorithm, like I I did go through like a health phase, so I find I get all these fitness models in my own, and the Korean fitness models, like half of them have these long necks, these small heads, the, the and tiny, the tiny heads, tiny heads, and then these broad shoulders. Yeah. I'm like, like you have a bur like their brain their brain is about the size. Of a walnut, if that's actually in reality. Yeah, their bodies look photoshopped. They're on. hyper photoshopped. Yeah. yeah. But I have a friend who's a bodybuilder. He doesn't, I mean, even sometimes I see him like make his face smaller. I'm like, mm -hmm. I know what you look like in mm -hmm. real life, dude. <laughs> what are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so, number seven, what is the strangest app you've ever heard of or tried? I'm thinking back to like the OG apps um, when I had like an iPod Touch or whatever in middle mm -hmm. school. They had all those apps where it's like ooh, you could get like a like a beer glass on mm -hmm. your phone and then you tilt it. And it looks like, oh, I'm, I'm drinking a beer or like yeah. a lightsaber or like those fake x-ray scanners. Like those back in the day were like the weird i guess kind of weird apps because they were just having more fun and yeah they were just yeah they were just trying anything at that time yeah uh the strangest app uh i might just say uh it's a game it was like flappy birds mm. so it was a very simple game and basically it's just you're what you're a bird trying to fly through pipes. like pipes like a maze of pipes now it was taken off because basically the person just photoshopped like uh mario world mario world pipes but uh there was like basic people were downloading the game and then when the game was taken off the market selling the phone that had it installed mm. for thousands and thousands of dollars i wonder if anyone still plays flappy bird yeah. or has those like og devices yeah so that was the, i think that's the strangest one because it was just such a simple idea and it wasn't even that original but like so, but people, such a phenomenon but it was yeah a phenomenon uh, do you want to read number eight, please? Which app has helped society the most and which one has hurt society the most? Mm. So which one has helped? Ooh, uh, which app? I guess, well, Facebook has made the world and society a much smaller place. Mm -hmm. And it really helps people like uh, get in touch with people as well as like whenever there's a, nat a natural disaster. Always like Facebook is up there. It's like when, hey... Like, oh, someone was in this area, like, like when they could, they say, hey, do you want to send out a post to say that you're all right? So last year there was uh, the e Taiwan uh, mm -hmm. incident. And because you and I live in Korea. Yeah, we both use yeah, that. Yeah, feature. yeah. So we had that yeah, there was a notification for us to let everyone know back home that we are OK, that we're alive. So I think that helped. That's helped society the most. Um, what's hurt it, I, TikTok doesn't really Mm. Yeah, like even like when you read about TikTok, there you find out that there's two types of TikTok. There's the North American and the the Chinese one. Mm -hmm. So I think TikTok is very harmful to society. Social media in general, I think, is a double-edged sword mm -hmm. because it brings people together. Mm -hmm. 
Um, but also it can make you feel really isolated and alone. It really just, it's a tool and it really mm. depends on how you use it. Mm. But a lot of these companies just want to prioritize your engagement and your time yeah. spent on the app. Like yeah. I love YouTube. I mm. think it is really democratized education. There's amazing channels out there like Crash mm. Course yeah. that just teach you these basic subjects. You can learn about so many new perspectives. Mm -hmm. But with the way the algorithm works, if you're not actively seeking out this content, mm -hmm. you'll never see it. Yeah. my I, It's really one of my nephews. I wish that he wasn't watching YouTube as much because it's really like stunted his development. Mm. Um, like he, he has, like he, there, he should be focused more on his education. And instead, he just like watches, uh, basically Twitch streamers mm. and the, the content, like, even, no offense, like some, the, tw some of the Twitch streamers and the, his algorithm aren't even native English speakers. So he's learning bad habits from this too. So he's not even listening to native English speakers and, and instead he's like, listen, this, uh, uh, English secondary language speakers where they so he's picking up on their grammatic mistakes and and thinking and then then it's developing into his actual native language mm -hmm. and I'm like oh, that's not how that you're not conjugating your verbs you know you have to pluralize this mm -hmm. if it's a single but. And it's really easy to find like to put yourself into an echo chamber yeah. Yeah. to surround yourself in just the ideology that you agree with and mm. not necessarily the yeah. one that helps you grow. Yeah, echo yeah, it's all yeah, he's living in a Twitch streamer echo chamber. <laughs> yep. Okay. Uh and last one. Do you think Kaka Talk app is useful? And or do you miss using text messages? Oh, I love Kakao Talk. It's great super app that lets yeah. you like send money messages they're harvesting all yeah. of our data but yeah i like it i love the stickers you love the stickers mm -hmm. yeah i i i i like kakao talk i i don't miss text messaging at all i just get spam in my text message kakao oh, talk the same yeah, you know, talk. Yeah, it, you can message, you can send money, you can map. You can I love voice. sending gifts too. Yeah, gifts on to birthdays. Uh, I always get coffee. I don't drink coffee. I Please do. Send, send me something, Kaukau gifts other than coffee. You send me I, your gift certificates for okay. coffee. I, I will use them. Okay. Well, yeah, yeah. We'll go to Starbucks after this. Okay. <laughs> well, that concludes uh, the conversation about apps. Um, if you have further questions about Colcom, you can visit them on their website at colcom.co.kr. I've been Jeff. I've been Kristen. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.